Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making four different tropical smoothies that are perfect for summer. They're low carb and keto friendly. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with our strawberry banana flavor. I'm gonna show you our little trick or our little um, secret ingredient to um, put this all together, but I'm just gonna pour everything in. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to put these smoothies together. This is gonna be perfect for those times when you have like a little sweet tooth and you're like, you know what, I'm kinda hungry, but I kinda want dessert, and so this is gonna be perfect. So we have our strawberries. These were actual um, fresh strawberries that I froze. And I feel like that also like adds and enhances the taste of the strawberry. Don't get me wrong, I have um, frozen strawberries as well, but I just really like doing um, fresh strawberries because it just, you get the color, you get um, the taste. So anyway, here we have some sweetener. So we have our powdered sweetener. You can also use liquid sweetener or your sweetener of choice, whatever you typically use. And then we have a little bit of our vanilla. Okay, you still wanna add that vanilla because vanilla in a smoothie is always bomb. Then we have our banana extract, okay? So we have banana. Okay, and to enhance the banana flavor, we also have um, this banana flavored, it's sugar-free pudding. It's a pudding mix. So we're just adding a little bit of this. And this is actually, because it is a pudding mix, it's also gonna help with the consistency of the, of the smoothie. And this is completely optional, but I'm that type of person that loves ice. I love my smoothies to be like super cold. Boom throwing in some ice. So let's go ahead and blend this up and I'm gonna show you how bomb and easy, look at that. That was like one minute to throw everything in. Okay, so we finished blending. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, I forgot, forgot to do a little pinch of salt. And you always wanna make sure you taste your own, um, you wanna taste your smoothie before you pour it in. I'm just gonna do a quick mix because everything else is perfect. Um, but, mm, yes. Okay, so here it goes. And this is our strawberry banana. And this is a very light, refreshing smoothie. It's light, it's refreshing. This is gonna be perfect for summer. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to our nutritious green smoothie. Okay guys, so on to the next. We're just gonna toss everything in so you guys can see. Um, here we have our almond milk. You're gonna use whatever you want, coconut, you know, your milk substitute of choice. Then we have our blueberries. These are fresh blueberries. You can also use frozen. Okay, then we have our spinach. Throw that in, spinach. You know, if you don't like spinach, this is a perfect way to get it, to get your spinach in because you can't taste it. Um, then we have our, this is our secret ingredient here. Avocado, if you didn't know, avocado makes your smoothie super creamy. It's almost, um, for me, it substitutes like a banana. Of course you don't get the taste, but the texture you get um, with the avocado. So we're gonna throw in our frozen avocado pieces. Um, and don't forget that avocado is full of healthy fats. So you're gonna stay full after having this smoothie. So think, you have your avocado, you have your spinach, um, and then your blueberries is like an antioxidant, healthy, you know, smoothie. <laughs> then you have your sweetener, throw in your sweetener. And um, my measurements are to my liking. You might want a little more, you might want a little less. So make sure you always taste um, your smoothies before serving. Um, a little vanilla. And again, I love ice in my smoothie. So we're just gonna toss that in. I like it to be, um, I feel like the ice just, um, makes it a little thicker, it makes it super cold, and uh, personally just makes it more enjoyable for me. So if you don't like it, then omit that all together. Now let's go ahead and put that on high and blend. Okay, and now let's go ahead and uh, serve. I want you to see the texture of this smoothie. This is nice and thick, creamy. And of course the green smoothie is always you know, the color is not the most beautiful, but this one here, it is um, it is still really delicious. I don't want you to be put off by the color because this is the green, this is the green one. Guys, this is health. This is, you know, you have the creaminess, you have the flavor, everything. So um, definitely give this one a try for sure. Let's move on to our next smoothie. Okay, so we have two smoothies down. Boom, we're on number three right now. We are going straight into a piña colada. So this is a piña colada. It is, um, yeah, one of my favorites. 
So let's just get right into it. Let's start off with our coconut water. So this is just some plain coconut water. Um, yeah, coconut water does have a little bit of sugar, but we're using a very small amount. And honestly, I think it's worth it. Um, if you're gonna have a treat and you're gonna have like a pina colada, might as well have it taste as close to the real deal with the least amount of sugar and carbs as possible, right? So we have our coconut water. We have our almond milk. Okay, then we have a little bit of vanilla. Always, we gotta always come in strong with our vanilla. We also have coconut extract, okay, or coconut flavor. Okay, so we have our coconut flavor. This one here is pineapple flavor, okay? And everything, I will try to link everything um, down below for you. We have our sweetener, okay, so sweetener and then we have our coconut mana so this is the co the uh, coconut butter okay and that's gonna also give it just that richness healthy fats remember you always want to try to include healthy fats because that's what's gonna keep you feeling a little more full if you just mix together fruits and some ice and like a liquid you're going to spike your insulin high you're not gonna have fats to keep you satiated so you're gonna be hungry super quick so I always try to include um, some healthy fats. And then we have our ice, our pinch of salt. Can't forget the salt, I remembered. So we have our coconut here. We're gonna use that as our topping. So now, here we are. Let's go on high and blend. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and show you the consistency of this bad boy. This is obviously tropical. Think tropical vibes while you're sitting by the pool. You can whip this up for you, your girlfriends, your family, you know, even the kiddos, right? They wanna, if you're having an alcoholic drink, boom, you have a little um, pina colada, no alcohol pour for them. So let's go ahead and pour. So pina colada done and we're on to our last smoothie. All right guys, so we are gonna finish off strong with a berry smoothie. Now this isn't just a regular berry smoothie. We are including some greens. We are doing baby kale, but if you have spinach, if you have arugula, if you have a mixed greens, use that. Um, another thing that I'd recommend if you want to feel a little more satiated after the smoothie, add a little bit of avocado. Add some fresh avocado, frozen avocado, boom. But let's go ahead and get this together so that you can see the consistency and we can do the taste test. So there we have our milk substitute. We did almond, and then we have our little vanilla, always. Okay, we have our sweetener. And um, we are adding, these are frozen and fresh berries. So we have frozen, we have, I don't know if you can see that. So these are blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries, okay? So we have a combination of of it all and this one will be a little bit higher in carbs because obviously we are including a lot of berries but i mean sometimes you just need like that berry smoothie you know what i mean like there are times where sure i can do the green and sure i can do you know the the peanut butter but sometimes you just want something fresh and this is it so um we have our kale healthy life gotta gotta throw in your greens and um Again, remember, if you if you do have avocado, toss in some avocado and it's gonna be nice and creamy. Just remember that berries are antioxidants, so just keep that in mind when making this um, your smoothie. And now let's throw in our ice, and we're gonna blend this baby up. All right, guys, so this is all blended up. Let's go ahead and pour. Ooh, looks beautiful. It's like deep. So our berry smoothie is all done. Let's go ahead and bring in all of our smoothies and let's do a taste test. All right guys, so here's the final product. We have all of our smoothies, our pina colada, our berry, strawberry banana, and then we have our green smoothie. These are gonna be perfect, perfect for summer, perfect for when you need a refreshing treat, something that you feel like, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm like, I feel like I need something healthy. You know, like you want something healthy in your body. Boom, right here, you have the greens, you have your spinach, kale, avocado, your berries that are antioxidant, this is a no sugar added smoothie. All of these are no sugar added um, smoothie recipes. You might have a little bit in the pina colada, which is my favorite um, of the four, um, because you are using coconut water. 
But other than that, these are all delicious. Like even the green, I this one is another, they're all delicious. Honestly, you have to try them all. But um, yeah, you're not gonna have to go searching for smoothie recipes because you have them right here. These are for you. <laughs> I'm going in for the pina colada. This one's calling my name, coconut everything. You know, I'm about that life, let's go. This reminds me of like a Jamba Juice, super unhealthy, full of sugar <laughs> smoothie. But knowing that it's low in carb and keto friendly, I'm like just that much more happy and excited about this. This one here is like, if you're not gonna try any of the other recipes because you're like, I don't wanna say lazy, but you just don't wanna make them, make this one. Okay, I'm telling you right now. If you want something that's gonna keep you nice and full and you wanna be about that healthy life, you're like, I just wanna feel healthy today, then <laughs> you wanna make the green. This has, you know, the healthy fats, you have all your greens, and this is, it's delicious too. It has blueberries, antioxidants, you already know. And I mean, strawberry banana, what do I say? Strawberry and banana is the bomb. So you have that one there. And then this is just all the berries, all the berries. But, um, you know, berries do have, do have carbs, so this is going to be a little higher in carbs, but it's nice and sweet and delicious. It's just, I mean, what can I say about a berry smoothie? Berry smoothies are the bomb. So um, yeah, all in all, I'm super proud of each and every one of these recipes. You have to try it. Overall, you're gonna love these recipes. I cannot wait. Let me know if you guys want more smoothie recipes. Do you, these are tropical. Do you want something that's like nice, decadent, creamy, chocolatey, peanut buttery? Um, because, in my back pocket so let me know and i will i'll work on a video asap but you're gonna love these i can't wait for you to try thanks for being here guys and i'll see you on my next video Mwah.